out there. It is Monday the 13th of December, which is the day this vlog will be going up. Uh, but I am editing last week's vlog and I've realised that there's no introduction to it. So this is me just saying hey, uh, letting you all know that this is a re new reading vlog and I am still reading My Brilliant Friend in this vlog. I do finish it though. It's a little spoiler for you. I just didn't want to jump straight into it and have it be really jarring for you. The first clip that I have is me eating a bowl of ice cream and apple pie at 9 o'clock at night. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoy this reading vlog. It's, it's a little bit kind of shorter. I didn't film as much last week, but I felt it was important to get my full Ferrante experience out there for you. So I hope that you shall enjoy it. I don't know, let me know if you found this video entertaining or not. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Currently editing the vlog from last week, but I actually just wanted to show you what I'm eating. Sorry, the lighting's not very good in here, but I baked an apple pie a mini apple pie and I'm eating it with custard and vanilla yogurt. Anyone else eat dessert with a tiny spoon? I for reals should not be eating this at like 9 o'clock at night but I am. I want to at least get this video edited so that I can export it, upload it overnight. She seems to be um, the schedule at the moment. For the old YouTube. It's like a Sunday finish vlog and then a Monday edit and then a Tuesday morning upload. How, how do we feel about that? It's kind of what works with my schedule. So we like it. Um, I should get back to it. Rupert just pointed out to me some very poor spelling from me on the internet. It's so goddamn embarrassing when you spell something incorrectly and it's been sitting up on the internet for four days before somebody tells you that it's wrong. I just uploaded my reading vlog from last week, so if you're watching this one, you better have watched that one. Um, I suppose I better finish this book, otherwise it won't be good. It's late now though, so I should probably go to bed. Another Monday. Done. I didn't talk about my work at, day at work. It was such a long, busy day. It was insane. I can't wait for a holiday. Some time off. I'm really 
we tired today? It's, it's been a busy two days at work. We have sent out 192 parcels in the last two days, which is a lot of art. And I'm really tired. I also stayed up till midnight last night, which is not something that I normally do at all. I'm usually in bed by 8.30. I sleep by 9.30, so yeah, won't be doing that again because it's only Tuesday. Um, I wanted to talk about my brilliant friend. I'm up to 204. And um, the story is kind of just doing its thing. It's not, it's not a really like climactic storyline. There's not, there's plot, but it's not, I guess, plot in the traditional sense where it's leading you to some kind of um, moment where it's all gonna be revealed. That doesn't feel like what that what it is anyway. The plot is merely being used to talk about the dynamics and the relationship between Alma and Leela. I'm still finding it hard to voice how I feel about it. I do really like it. It's making me think about my own childhood and my own adolescence and what it was like to have those difficult friendships and makes me really glad that I'm not back there again. I guess in the same way that you read as an adult and you you are reading these stories about um, kind of things that you always thought were not necessarily universal not that you thought that they weren't, but just reading these things out loud and feeling a connection or being able to relate to certain characters has always been what I like about reading as an adult. But reading the story, which is being told by um, children and like young girls and feeling that familiar, those familiar feelings um, and remembering those is also quite uh, interesting as well. So, yeah, it's making me think about times that I'm glad are behind me, but she just writes them so, so brilliantly, and I'm really keen to get to the bottom of this book so that I can see what's next um yeah that's what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna sit here and read while Rupert cooks me dinner like the princess that I am he was also making me a cup of tea so hopefully that'll be coming soon cool I'm eating apple pie again I did slightly burn it this time, but it's so good. I'm addicted. Also, there's a pretty amazing sunset happening outside, but it never looks as good on camera. Also, I'm too lazy to go outside, so I'm just watching it from bed. Well, I read my book and ate my yummy dessert. Oh, hey. Um, I need to stop saying um. I need to come on here more prepared to know what I'm going to say to you. Hello. It is Wednesday. I slept quite well last night. I went to bed really early, which was nice. And then didn't get out of bed until like 7 o'clock. Sorry, I'm just gonna let the jug go. Okay, we're back. Can I get this oil so I can make my cup of tea? Um, yeah, 
last night I had a really good sleep. And I read two pages of My Brilliant Friend. I am uh, at a point where I feel like things are going well for Eleanor. And I feel like something bad's going to happen. Um, this, this book does not feel like a happy wee story. Uh, she, yeah, she has just travelled to somewhere, an island, um, and she has... Yeah, things are going well for her. She, in her own words, she said she flourished while she was there. So I'm sure something or Leela will do something to ruin that for her and completely make her feel miserable. So um, that's where I'm at with that book. And my boss is back today. I said that, but he's been away, so I've been the boss for the last couple of days, which has been fine. It's not stressful or anything, it's just really busy. And I told you yesterday we put out 122 packages in two days, which was 8 off 200. Because I'm the type of person. Hmm. I'm gonna buy some milk from the petrol station because this is like a week old now. That's fine, but it's like the 8th of December today. So it's like five days old, so I'll be back. So convenient having a petrol station. Petrol station right there. But my god, is this the most expensive milk I've ever paid for? Six dollars fifty. So it'd be like four dollars at the supermarket. Things I do for my cow's milk. Um mind you if this was any other milk. From a petrol station, they're like twelve dollars. Uh, okay, sit down, have some breakfast. I have to rush out the door this morning. I also had to put on. I don't know the difference between a mineral sunscreen and a physical sunscreen but whatever one I don't even know if they're the same thing I ran out of my normal sunscreen which is like a Biore Japanese uh, like watery gel thing and I had this other Neutrogena sunscreen but it definitely leaves me with a white cast so my face is showing up as really pale it's because of the sunscreen Tea is perfect. Okay, I'm going to probably just watch some YouTube while I eat my breakfast. I have to go. Saying hey, what's going on? House is really messy, but I don't give a shit. Just letting it kind of happen. I just want to talk about. My brilliant friend, because I have progressed. Um, obviously, I'm trying to not include any spoilers in this book for anyone that hasn't read it but wants to. But I knew something bad was going to happen to Eleanor, and it happened. And I read it, and I literally rolled my eyes. No, actually, I was reading it on the way home from, on my walk home from work, and I could feel it coming, and I tensed up, and I just dropped my book, and I just said, oh, fuck. 
that's what I that's the response that I had to him um so yeah I'm pretty bummed out um, because I just feel for her so much she she was having the time of her life and now she's got to deal with this shit so yeah kind of like really just sad and like disappointed that not in the book but in that this character just seems to not be able to catch any kind of a break and uh, what that must feel like um, yeah, I realise this book is taking me forever to get through, but I'm quite enjoying the pace of it and not wanting to rush it too much. Oh, I'm actually going to some cheese. Yes. I've got cheese and crackers and a little bit of pickle. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Got squish cheese. And some petit brie. That did not sound French at all. Quite interested to see how this book ends. Because obviously there's three more. Am I gonna wanna read all of them? Am I going to want a break? Am I going to be so heartbroken at the end of this book that I won't possibly be able to continue on? Um, or not? But I would that I'm really enjoying it and it's stinky um that I can I can't imagine not wanting to continue on I mean the last series that I read was Harry Potter so it definitely has been a while since I've read uh, a book like this. Not a book like this, but just a series in general. Um, ah, oh, that's not true. Rachel Cusk. But I haven't actually finished that. I need to read Kudos. This is it. A good looking snack plate, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, this is what I've got while I'm in here. We have tea, we have some gherkins, some Swiss cheese, uh, seaweed rice crackers, a couple of toffee pops. They're just like a biscuit. <laughs> with caramel and chocolate on the outside and brie cheese. I'm so happy. That's a muddy. That means good morning. Um, yeah, it's a great morning. I'm feeling very good today for some reason. I can't quite figure it out. I think it has something to do with the weather. And it's just being summertime. Even though I have to work, I get that really excited summertime feeling. And the weather is nice. Um, update on the book. I've got 80 pages to go. I hate all the men in this book. I hate all the boys in this book. I wish that they would all just stop being such dicks because they're all the worst um 
Yeah, I really want to see the woman in this book and the next one just really take control and have some shit go their way. But I feel like that's probably not going to happen. For some reason, I just get the feeling that this isn't like a happy... This whole series isn't like a happy, uh, joyful story. So far, it's been pretty fucking miserable and depressing to read, but it's great, and I love it. And, yeah, I'm very excited to finish it because I need to know what happens, especially with Eleanor, because... She just got back from her holiday. She is bronzed. Acne's gone. Girlfriend is having a glow up moment and nobody gives a shit. And I'm sick of people treating her this way. She does not deserve it. And I just want her to leave. I want her to leave. I want her to go and just flourish again. Because she obviously does that when she's away from this horrible neighborhood where she gets treated badly even by her friend yeah okay that's that's what I'll say so far I'm really looking forward to finishing it I'm hoping today but probably not tomorrow will probably the day be the day when I finish it um which means it would have taken me nearly two weeks which is a long time for one book but whatever Yesterday I spent a good chunk of my lunch break trying to figure out how to use Storygraph. I imported all my shit from Goodreads and put it into Storygraph and I don't think it worked properly because I had to go back and like delete a whole bunch of duplicates. I don't know. Anyway, I'm on Storygraph now. I don't like when an edition of a book isn't the right one. And you can't edit any, you can add one, you can add books, but only if their ISBN isn't already taken. And I noticed that some people have been adding books to Storygraph without pictures, like covers, which is just psychotic to me. Who does that? Um, it's really fucking frustrating. <laughs> it's made me way angrier than I thought it would. Um, yeah. There's one book in my whole collection of books that I've read that I can't change the cover of because some dum-dum added the wrong cover or a different cover that I've never seen before and it is really irritating me because it's like one book. But anyway, I'm going to give it a go. I think the interface of it is so much nicer than Goodreads. Goodreads is like so non-user friendly it's hideous it's glitchy i don't like it anyway i've always wanted an alternative to it because i just don't think it's very good i mean when storygraph came along i checked it out and i think now that it's out of its beta phase and it's had more people using it like they are constantly making it better and making it um just a better alternative so I'm definitely just gonna focus on that. I think I might even just like get rid of uh, Goodreads or maybe I'll keep it for a little while. But I'm not gonna, probably not gonna update it. Yeah, I say that, but I want the, yeah, you, you did your reading challenge for the year, so, which will be soon because I've always made it. I want that moment and then Goodreads can just like, Get the fuck out of here. Um, so that brings me on to my next thing I want to talk about is next year and like goals and reading goals that I have in mind. I love a fresh start. I love a New Year's resolution. I love planning. I love setting goals. I love intentions. Even if I don't meet them, I just love... Feeling like, even for a, a week, that my life, I have my shit together and 
things are okay. So, 2022, I am very excited. I've got a new diary already. Um, I've bought some new notebooks for YouTube and all that stuff. I have plans, okay? I've got big plans. And I will share them with you just once I've sorted them out of my head a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. It's so hot today. It's so hot and it's so muggy. I came home and I had to put a sacky dress on because I was wearing a t-shirt and that was too close to my body. I want to be naked right now. That's how hot it is. But I suppose I could, but then I couldn't speak to you. So just um, doing some domestic chores, unpacking the dishwasher. I'll talk to you first because you don't want to watch me unpack the dishwasher. Uh, what else is happening? Had therapy really well, went really well. Great session today. Um, yeah, got a lot of things to implement into the week. Um, we're definitely having takeaways for dinner tonight. I kind of feel like Korean again. I'm obsessed with that Korean curry. I feel like Rupert won't want it though, so I'm bracing myself for him to say no, and I've got a backup suggestion. Just probably still going to be curry, but just from a different place. <laughs> so I really hope he says yes to the Korean, because I really want it. Um, oh, the book is getting so good. I've been reading it like to and from work and my lunch break. I'm almost finished. I am about 60 pages from finishing, and I think I might finish it today. I said to Sophie, it probably won't be tomorrow till tomorrow, but I want to finish it today. I need to. Um... We can tell that we're getting more into the book because we're being much more kind of gossipy to one another about the characters, which is quite fun. I love having a little bit of a gossip about fiction and characters with people. But yeah, I need to know what happens. I need to know. So, hopefully next time you see me, this will be the face of a woman who's finished reading her first... Eleanor Ferrante book. But first I have to unpack the dishwasher. So I'm just going to do that first and then I'll get back to you. Okay, bye. Hey, okay, ladies. I see y'all with the casual slay. Do you tip how you get the whole collection? The purpose of being... Oh, it's actually quite nice with the breeze coming through the window right now. Um, hello. It's been a while since I have chatted, uh, caught up with you. It's now Saturday, it's about five o'clock in the evening, and I just finished My Brilliant Friend, and wow, what an ending. So many questions, and I want to read the next one, like right away. Uh, I can't, though, I've got other things that I need to uh other obligations that i have to my reading at the moment so i will pick it up as soon as i can probably as early as like christmas um but yeah i loved it i loved especially loved the last kind of i would say 100 pages I thought that um, the character of Leela really, and the way that um, Ferrante chose to write her, was really. It showed her maturing and her kind of coming into herself a little bit more. Um, I mean, she continues to be shit, kind of shit on the whole book, but. I don't know, I think she's gonna, I think she's gonna be okay. I hope so. I want to know what, what Leela's gonna do next, because if you know what I'm talking about, I would have gone nuts. 
I would have flipped tables. So I'm interested to know if the second book picks up where the last book, uh, the first book leaves us. But anyway, we'll find out when we find out. Um, what have we been doing today? Today we have been cleaning our house and um, we ordered a skip that arrived at nine o'clock last night, which we did not think was happening. Um, but yeah, we, ju we just had a lot of kind of outdoor stuff. Our outdoor table broke about two weeks ago. Uh, we tried to fix it and <laughs> we're just not like handy people in that way. It's made out of wood and we just think that it's really old. So we had to throw that away. We had like stuff in our garage that just does not belong to us um, that we had to get rid of and just heaps of garden waste like we have so many trees and they shed their leaves like crazy so we did a big tidy and it's feeling really good out there and then tomorrow the plan is to do the last of the kind of organizing inside so we did outside today and inside will be tomorrow um and that'll be nice that'll be nice before christmas it'll be nice to have like a proper clear out and start using more of our own space for what we want to use it for like parking our car in our garage that's our carport that's like really essential um yes yeah, so that's what we've been doing today i'm so tired now Rupert's had a friend's uh, birthday, but I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. I just feel like my eyeballs are going to fall out of their head. I just wouldn't have been very fun to talk to, so I just decided to stay home. And yeah, when he gets home, we'll probably think about something for dinner. But I think I'm going to sign off this vlog because... I finally finished this book and I might not start another one till tomorrow but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna feature that I'll start a new vlog for a new book oh I got this in the mail yesterday though um small bodies of water by Nina Mingya Powells she is a New Zealand writer and I've heard this is fantastic. It is a memoir, maybe, or essays. They look like essays. But yeah, I've heard great, so many great things about this book. Um, Alan and Unwin sent, uh, kindly sent me a copy. Kia ora, thank you. Um, yeah, really stoked to get into this at some point I feel like this is going to be a really good summer read so might add that to the summer collection but yeah that was a nice little book mail yesterday yeah that's me I'm signing off I will see you in the next one bye thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>